Um, this used to be really easy to answer for the record. Yeah, who is the church? What is the church? I, I don't know. I, I, for some of you, I don't know where some of your backgrounds are, but it was, used to be really easy for me. What's, what's the purpose of the church? Well, it's to save souls, get people into heaven, make sure everybody's checking the right morality boxes, making sure your doctrine's pure. It's about absolute answers and being the answer people. It was, there's, a, there's times where it's like, oh, man, that was so easy, so simple. But it's not anymore. And it wasn't simple for them. For instance, in Jesus' world, there were structures and systems and beliefs and authority figures who dictated human worthiness. And so if you were poor, if you were a woman, if you were a person with special needs or you'd been born into the wrong tribe or social class, you were put in a category of less than not good enough in the eyes of God or in the eyes of the gods, not good enough for the people who, for whatever reason, seem to be exempt from those circumstances. And so when Jesus announces that there's this divine kingdom, this heavenly reality that's bursting into our material world, the kingdom at hand, it was a, a kingdom he described as being where the first are last and the last are first, where the material needs of the least of these are actually valued and provided for, where sinners are forgiven and empowered, where the sick and the lame and the outsider are healed and included. It was this great reframing story in its day. It was Jesus speaking on behalf or as God saying, listen, I don't care who told you this or what you were told about who should matter. But in the world, according to my father, according to God, you who have been kicked to the curb, dismissed, discarded, seen as invisible, if you've been wounded and battered, if outcomes in your life make you wonder, am I really worthy of love or mercy, grace or forgiveness? I'm here to reframe the story that you aren't cursed by God and newsflash, you aren't even a disappointment, that you're actually enough. Like that's the opposite story here, that you belong, you're accepted. In fact, in fact, God so loved you, God so loved the world that God gave the world, he gave you someone like me, he gave you me. And if you or the world would just believe this. If you could just trust that this reframing is true, that you are completely loved already. If you could accept that you are accepted, if you could escape the framing of this world and live in a way that transcends whatever material reality you've been conditioned to long for, want, need, or perform for, that's the kingdom of God.